I really thought the Buffalo Sabres were going to come out of the gates this season roaring. And clearly, I wasn't the only one. This team seemed really poised to take a big step this upcoming season. And a lot of people are wondering, what does that entail? The only big question mark I had about them was in net. I didn't feel too comfortable about the goalies that they were thinking about rolling out. But other than that, I mean, the skyrocketing of Tage Thompson to becoming one of the best offensive players in the league has been nothing short of exceptional. Rasmus Dahlin proved last year that he is easily a number one franchise defenseman. Owen Power seemed to be coming along nicely. Dylan Cousins looked like a great piece for them to build around. After his first season in Buffalo, Jeff Skinner looked like a shell of his former self for a while, but even he had a huge resurgence and started to look like a really good offensive piece again for the Sabres. And after going through coaches and GMs like a woodshed for the past 10 plus years, it seemed like the combo of Don Granato behind the bench and Kevin Adams upstairs looked like it was really going to work for this team. And look, it still might. I mean, they lost Tage Thompson, arguably their best player, for a good amount of time. He's getting closer returning. But over a quarter into the season now, this has got to be just soul-crushing for fans of that team. I mean, the players, they hate losing for sure. But those fans, man, you can't help but feel for them. I mean, what? it's the longest playoff drought in the NHL. It's got to be one of the longest in all of pro sports now. This team hasn't made the playoffs since Ryan Miller and Jason Pominville were still on the team, and Thomas Vanek was their leading scorer. Kids who were born the last time the Sabres made the playoffs are in middle school right now. In that time span, it honestly feels like this franchise has undergone two, maybe even three rebuilds. They've been an absolute factory for head coaches and general managers. They lost a franchise player who has gone on to win a Stanley Cup less than two years after leaving. They've had two first overall picks and two second overall picks. And as of right now, they're only two points better than the last place team in their own division, which is Ottawa, who has six games in hand on them. This isn't just a disaster at this point for the Buffalo Sabres and their fans. Like, it's full-on soul-crushing for this to go on this long. I'd say at least they've got the bills there to help them forget about the Sabres, but that ain't too hot right now either. Now, the glass half full on this is there's still 56 games left to play in this season, and that was the entire season in 2021. And as bleak as it may seem, Sabres fans, you're only five points out of that last wildcard spot. Now, it's going to be incredibly difficult to claw yourself up to that spot, especially with this roster you've got iced here, but crazier things have happened. What do you even do to fix the Sabres fans? I mean... It feels like the franchise in that past 10, 11, 12 years has tried everything they could. The coach, the GM, the core of the team, even the franchise player who on most teams, the franchise player is like the untouchable guy. You build around him. You don't get rid of him. They even change that. What do you do here? You can't just bottom out again. And, oh, okay, we'll, you know, tear it down to the studs, be terrible and get another, what, two, three, four top draft picks. You know that there's a very high chance that, that doesn't work again. I guess what you gotta do here is retool on the fly, kind of like the Rangers famously did after they released that letter that they were going to rebuild, but even then, you can't fully replicate that because they had superstar players literally just fall into their lap and speed up the process. I'm at a loss for words here, Buffalo fans, because I'm rooting for you guys. I want this streak to be broken, and I feel like playoff hockey in Buffalo after all that time and all that anger and vitriol, it would just be absolute chills all the fans in that city letting out all that pent-up frustration and energy that's been there for over 12 years. I'm rooting for you. I just don't know how you're going to get yourselves out of this mess because it's a deep hole that's been dug here. Give me your thoughts in the comments. This is going to be an interesting one to listen to. Your guys' strategies on how you'd fix this because it's a doozy. Let me know. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.